Hello everyone, my name is Melissa Cohen. I am back to give you the rest of the details regarding the Navient Student Loan Settlement. So last week, the settlement came out. Like it was just announced and read several articles from di several different news sources and it just gave this $1.9 billion settlement. Some student loans who had, some students who had student loans through um, Navient, formerly known as Sally May as well, some parts of that company, at for-profit institutions during a certain time period would have their loans forgiven. And then a second part of that was that certain student loan borrowers who were basically steered into forbearance rather than an income-driven repayment plan would receive money as well. And it roughly came to about $260 a person. So that being said, that was the highlight. That was the big news. You know, it gave the numbers. They knew how many, you know, a couple hundred thousand students and things. So not everybody, but we all had a little hope that maybe we get a little bit of money back. Well, now the rest of the details have come out about that settlement. So I am telling you, I've used Business Insider dot com. I'll put a link to the actual article in case you want to read it. But here's the rest of the details. And it went from like we thought maybe this many students, adults at this point, could get some money back or get their student loans forgiven. But now that number just went down to this. You know, it, it's now a very, very narrowly defined number of students who qualify within certain states, certain time periods, certain rules and such. So unfortunately, it doesn't affect me, but maybe it might affect you. So I am going to give you the details here. And uh, it does, some of this information is updated and it is different than what I gave on the video from last week. So because I thought, well, you know what? It didn't matter. Some things didn't matter. It wasn't really specific. But now this is the, the, the details of who qualifies for the student loan forgiveness and such. So let me go through here. So as I did mention, there was a coalition of 39 attorneys from state attorneys who got together for this lawsuit. So there are only certain states. If you only live in certain states, you can qualify for this. So let's go ahead and go through here. Okay, so do I qualify for restitution payment? So you have to live in one of these states, Arizona, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Washington, D.C., Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Louisiana, Massachusetts, Maryland, Maine, Minnesota, Missouri, North Carolina, Nebraska, New Jersey, New Mexico, Nevada, New York, Ohio, Oregon, Pennsylvania. Tennessee, Virginia, Washington, or Wisconsin. All right, so here are the terms if you live in that state for these restitution payments. You have lived in a participating state since, since January 2017. Okay, so if you've moved or you, you're not going to qualify. You entered repayment on a direct loan program before January 2015. Okay, so if it just happened the last couple years, you don't meet the terms. You had at least one federal loan eligible for income driven repayment. I don't know how you know that if you were steered towards forbearance, if you are actually eligible for an income driven repayment plan, but we'll get to that. Another point, had at least two consecutive years of loan forbearance between October 2009 and January 2017. That seems that seems like a long time. Like if you were unemployed for a year, then you would have it a loan forbearance for a year, not for two years, two consecutive years. So it kind of feels like, you know, if you were trying, you kind of just, you got, you're not in this, you're not eligible. And that kind of doesn't seem fair to me either, but I'm not the fair police. And you didn't enroll in an income forbearance repayment before forbearance. So, that basically means if you went straight to forbearance, you had it for at least two years, consecutive years between October 2009 and January 2017. You lived in one of those states that I listed. You were eligible for an income driven repayment plan, but you went into forbearance and you have a direct loan program. Uh, you enter the repayment before January 15th. 
Okay, so I that those are very. It just seems like okay if we were taking a good thing to be happy with, they just narrowed it down. So it's very specific here. So it says if you meet these criteria, you will likely qualify for these payments. You don't need to take any action. And remember, it did say um, this article does say this from the video last week as well. It says the same things that make sure you have your correct address on file with um, the Department of Education. And because they will be mailing you out this information if you qualify by July of 2022. Now, how do I know if I qualify for private student loan cancellation? That's the big news. So you have to live in one of these states. Plus, there's a plus. Um, Arkansas, Kansas, Michigan, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Vermont, West Virginia, Virginia, or a military address postal code. And you meet one of these terms. So if you don't live in one of those states, you don't even qualify for a private student loan cancellation. So go ahead and stop the video and move on. Have your cry, your hopes. Figure out how you'll pay those student loans because they're not going away at this point, right? So you live in one of those states and you meet one of these terms. You took out a private subprime student loan. So that means you did it through some uh, uh, private loan for borrowers that's okay I'm sorry subprime student loan means it's a loan for borrowers with low credit scores so that means you probably shouldn't have been given that student loan and you were probably so you took out a private subprime student loan through Sally May and this was Navient's predecessor between 2002 and 2014 and you had more than seven consecutive months of late payments before June 30th Okay, so once again, I'm not the fair police, but it seems like even if you took out these student loans and you made the payments, that's not fair. So someone who didn't make the payments for seven consecutive months are eligible, but if you struggled and you made the payments for seven months or the whole time, you're not eligible. Okay, I'm not the fair police. I'm just reading the news here. And the other term is, or you received a loan to attend a for-profit school on a list here that I'm going to read to you. All right, so this may have some redemption here. Okay, so this list is a little long as well. And this information, just to let you know, if you need another source, it's Navient AG settlement.com there's a lot of common questions and things like that so that's where you can your true source of where you can find all of this information okay um, let me it just has all the the all right who is eligible for restitution okay what are the school I'm trying to find the schools here I guess I should have done this Okay, so it says number six on this common questions here. Who is eligible for private loan debt cancellation? Okay, so here's the for-profit school list. There's also company name, so that's the name of the entire company, and then the school list is kind of what you and I would know the school name. Like, that's what we would write on a resume or LinkedIn profile. So it's kind of long here. I'm going to, I think I can go through it, so bear with me. American Career Institute. The Career Institute of American International College and Clark University Computer Career Institute. So that's one entity there. Westwood College and Redstone College, University of Phoenix, ATI Career Training Center, Ashford University, and here's another umbrella of schools. Oh my goodness, I don't speak French. Le Cordon Bleu, Sanford Brown. American Intercontinental University, Brooks Institute, Colorado Technical University, Briarcliff College, Harrington College of Design, International Academy of Design and Technology, and Missouri College. Okay, here's another umbrella of schools. College America, Independence University, Stevens Henniger College, and California College, San Diego. Then we have Ryman Institute, Everest Institute, Everest College, Heald College, and Wyo Tech. Then we have DeVry University, Ross University, Keller Graduate School of Management, and Carrington College. Then we have Virginia College and Brightwood College. Then we have Art Institute, 
Argosy University, Brown Mackey, and South University. We have Minnesota School of Business and Globe University, Kaplan University, Kaplan Career Institute, Kaplan College, and Mount Washington College, ITT Technical Institute, Lincoln Technical Institute, Marinello School of Beauty, and then this is the last group here, Salter College, Branford Hall, Hallmark Institute of Photography, Harris School of Business, American College of Medical Careers. All right, so that kind of gives you a wrap up of the information of who qualifies and who doesn't qualify. And if you're still confused, you can go find out more information at the NavyAGSettlement.com website. Or as I said before, just keep your information up to date uh, and the Navy will notify all eligible private loan borrowers on their forgiveness in writing by July. So I hope it's you um, from the perspective of you've had a lot of struggles. Maybe you weren't able to find a career. Maybe you weren't able to finish your program because the school defaulted whatever I'm sure you've had some struggles there so hopefully from that standpoint this is a big relief for you um, I'm sorry if you did go through any of that it's miserable it's awful I'm sure but hopefully knowing that maybe some of these do schools and um, lenders weren't acting fairly and you know gave everybody a fair shot either so anyways I hope that brings you a good news a little bit of good news as well uh, if not then um, definitely reach out to whoever your student loan lender is now uh, I know I'm preparing to pay back my student loans uh, beginning you know May 1st as well I'm still I'm holding out for something from the government but you know I'm not going to rely on the government to wipe my student loans out because I did sign the papers I did take those on um, for hope of having a higher salary in the future as well so good luck everybody hope you have a great day thanks